Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the video, Love Bugs. It is your host, Queen Bly Amor. No, Queen Bly, my said it. <laughs> we are back, y'all, for another YouTube live reaction video. Y'all, say what? Y'all, I haven't turned the music on all day long. Let's see. Let's see I can't it. believe it. Nope. I'm disappointed in myself now. <laughs> and she's still burping. That is so nasty. Okay, here we go. She ate way too much food. She just keep burping like that. And it sounds like the food is coming back up. Dang, I'm trying to... It's supposed to look soupy for if anybody is like, ew, why it look like that? It's supposed to be soup. Yeah, you said soup, so yeah. I think I'm gonna make homemade hamburger hamper today. Dang, why is it like shaky though? Cause you shaky, sure. Oh, say what, say what, say what. Now I'm going to just keep singing the dang on song. Let me turn this to you. Get up off of me, camera. Mind your business. Dang. It was good in the crock pot. I feel like my noodles would get overcooked in a crock pot. Because I would be done, forgot about it. But yeah, so I'm going to try to get y'all a little bit more of a close up. Hold on. Pandora, here we are. That's what it looked like. Right. Mm. That sounds delicious. It sounds delicious. I've never had a homemade shepherd's pie. Okay. Um, I tried it from a restaurant and I didn't Thank like it. Thank you for the heart puffs. Thank you for the but I know I would like it because I like all the ingredients, but I needed a homemade. You made it. Some of y'all made it. It's so good. It's so flavorful. I put some basil in it. I put some roasted garlic in it. I roasted my garlic in the um in the air fryer. And then I um I added some basil paste and I seasoned it with all the seasonings. I put my chicken broth in there. She did I her tomato thing. paste in there. She whipped the whipped the whipped the work. I let that like saute down. Oh my god, so flavorful, so flavorful. Y'all gotta try it. Oh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it for sure. And I put a bay leaf in there to like let all the seasonings like combine really really good together you ever thought about making a cookbook i never did um only because i feel like the stuff that i make everybody like people know how to make that stuff like i don't be doing nothing spectacular in the kitchen i think a cookbook just for fun would be cool not one like to charge people to make money but a cookbook just because you like cooking and you feel like you know how to cook. And if you feel like that you can teach people or instruct them on how to make the meal like you do, then go ahead and put a cookbook out or just start making cooking videos into a cooking playlist or something. One thing I can say about her is she cooks. She be in the kitchen. Um, 90% of the time I click on her live She's in the kitchen cooking something, making something. She feed her son. Um, whether he want to eat it, you know, I don't know, but she cooks. The girl cook. And this it don't be looking like nasty. The few things I've seen, it hasn't looked nasty. I like somebody that can cook, child. I, what seasons do I use? I use I, people <clears throat> that can cook. <laughs> Onion powder, garlic powder, 
black pepper, adobo complete, and Tony's Creole seasoning. Yep. It, I, You're great. I watched her for a long time on Sunday. Um, and I recorded it, but for some reason, the volume, it was like messed up. So I couldn't use that video. But she started off with washing her son hair. Then she twisted all his hair up. Um, I think she blow dried it or something. Then she put the do-rag on it. Then she was back in the kitchen cooking. And she was cooking late. I'm like, you know, I don't like cooking late. But I can appreciate a mother that does what she's supposed to do on Sunday. And still get in that kitchen and make him a home-cooked meal. Girl, she no Jasmine. She be making real food, y'all. It cooked to me. You know what? It's funny that but, you say that because I had thought about that the other day. Cause I was I was just in here making like different um like different stuff that I've been seeing that I've been wanting to make. And the stuff had been coming out like really good. And I was like, oh my God, that would have been like the perfect time to like write all of this stuff down and um put it like put it in a cookbook. It's crazy because somebody actually has sent me like this um i love people that can cook for one it gives me like for the most part it gives me different ideas on what i can cook because y'all know i just be so wiped out with it sometimes i come and ask y'all like what should i cook for dinner today i'm completely wiped i'm just done between today i don't know i don't even know what i'm gonna make um I really did want lasagna, but I just don't feel like cooking that. Um, I don't know. I thought about spaghetti. I thought about fish, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be homemade hamburger heifer. I just be, you know, so if somebody can cook and make it look good, honey, I'm going to do it. She made seafood curry stew the other day, and it prompted me to make gumbo. And child, when I tell you, it was it was so good. This book where I can write all my recipes down and I can take a picture of it and put it in there. But I never did it. Well, you Thank you, Lady J. <laughs> yes, I feel like complete just like completes your meal. Like you got to have complete in your meal. It's to the point where um, I put my, I put complete... <laughs> And your noodles, girl. Me too. Um, <laughs> I don't know if she's going to say noodles or what she's going to say, but I'll be putting it in my noodles. I never used complete seasoning before Peach McIntyre. Peach McIntyre got me on complete seasoning. And Strong Mommy Chrissy got me on kicking chicken. I had never used those two because I, I was raised by old school cookers. And, and chefs, and they didn't they didn't use all that weird stuff. They use regular, basic, normal stuff, unless they was making something, something. But y'all know y'all grandma's kitchen. She didn't have no complete seasoning or kicking chicken. Mine's definitely didn't. But child, Chrissy, kicking chicken, um, peach, complete seasoning, and yep, I put it in my salad and I put it on my sandwiches. Yeah, like my cold cuts. I sure do. I do put complete seasoning on my salad sometimes. Um, sometimes I put slap your mama on it. And what is the other seasoning? Um, let me see what it is. Let me see what is it? So nature's seasoning. I don't even know how the heck I picked it up one day. I just randomly picked it up in Walmart and we tried it. And it's, it's like, I need to read it and see what's all in it. I think it's celery salt in there, garlic in there, onion powder, black pepper. It's like, it's like a, a um, holy trinity of seasonings. <laughs> you can literally just sprinkle that on anything. So, yeah, y'all, my seasonings. Do that complete peach got me on that. It just make everything taste better. 
I'm going to try it in my cereal one day and see how that tastes. You cannot put that shit in no cereal. What the hell? Girl. I don't know. I tried it in my eggs before. It's good. It tastes like <laughs> it tastes like seasoning salt. What is she? Is she like why is she? What is she getting something yeah, out I'm of her teeth? In my oatmeal. I don't and mean like y'all. Cheese. When I say cereal, I mean hot cereal, not no not no cold cereal. But I'm gonna try it in my oatmeal. You showed threw me for a loop. I said you better not put that shit on no cereal. You better not put it on no oatmeal either. Ugh. Why would you do that? She really tripping now. That's some. Now that right there is some my six hundred pound type shit. I. She said I'm gonna try complete seasoning on my hot cereal. Where then, girl? Where have you been? Not that you just popped in the chat like you ain't been missing forever. <laughs> Hey sis, hey, I hope everything is going good. All is well. You and the family. And tell mom I said hi. I love how you say here, your son. Thank you, love. Vegetable seasoning. It's probably girl. Just I just got finished cleaning that room. Using. Not too long ago. And y'all, that meal was so quick that I made. Like, it literally took no more than an hour. And it probably would have took less than that if I wasn't fooling around with Eli because he kept coming in and interrupting. That is it probably quick. took like 45 minutes tops. Or less because I was recording too. So it probably would take about maybe like 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Yeah, it probably does not take way minutes. less when you be recording, child. It take it make it take so much longer. Jeez. <laughs> she said, "Okay, thanks for clearing it up. That's good. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, try it. I'm gonna post a video for y'all soon. I got other videos that need to be uploaded as well. I got like three or four videos that need to be uploaded." I was supposed to upload today, but I got um, I got sidetracked with Eli. I'm going to watch that um that cooking vlog. I wanted to see it when she. I watched this live recording it for y'all, so I seen her eating that a little bit, and I'm like, I want to see her cooking it for real, y'all. I don't know. I be liking certain things, and if she's not yelling or mistreating her son, then I'm I'm fine with it. When she get to acting crazy with Eli, then I got a problem, and I'm going to pop my shit quick. If I ain't had to clean his room, I would have been able to upload that video, but I was so sick of that room looking a mess. And I'm still not done in there. Like I, We cleaned the whole room, but I got to go back in there. I probably won't do it tonight. I'll probably do it tomorrow. But I got to go back in there and... um get rid of the clothes that he can't fit. He got a lot of clothes that he can't fit anymore, so I got to get rid of that. Um, I cooked lasagna soup. Let's go to the kitchen and look at my pot. It done probably got a little cool now, so. But baby, when I jumped, was piping hot. I was taste testing it as I was cooking it to make sure I didn't need to add anything in it. Oh, man. Her ass was in there scalding her tongue. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from, but as soon as she said it was piping hot, yeah, your ass was in there burning your taste buds off tasting that. <laughs> and it's like the noodles she is, is swelling up. Child, y'all, uh uh. I'm burning the hell out I'll of I'll just bed. add some more chicken broth to it. But I have made lasagna soup. It didn't look like this when I first got done. It was like, it still had a lot of like soupiness in it. But the noodles done swelled up and done took all the damn, whatchamacallit. That's how I was. Took like, all the, like uh, hamburger <laughs> the juice. You can keep the juice. Honestly, I would eat mine like that it, for real. It's just like some hamburger hepper or some spaghetti or something. But it was nice and soupy. That's all. So 
So I'll probably add some um, more chicken broth to it or a little bit of water tomorrow. It's so rich and flavorful. Yeah, I, I don't, I wouldn't put it in my mouth. And when y'all make it, be sure not to add too many noodles because if you add too many noodles, it's gonna soak it, soak up all the stuff. But I didn't add a lot of noodles. It just happened to soak up all the stuff because it's, it's sitting there now. But like when you first do it, when I first did it, it was mm -hmm. fine. But I think I put about like eight to ten um, lasagna noodles in there. And I just broke them up. All right. That's that. See, you did so much today. You're the super girl. I be, I be exhausted though. Like I want to go in my room right now and fix my room up, but I don't really have the energy. 